Alright guys, so... I kinda have to talk to you. Okay, so now that I've made my lighting look... Well, a little decent. I kinda have some uh, stuff I need to tell you about. I've got kind of a pretty good story that I need to tell you. Basically, a lot of things have happened that you probably don't know about. Like, the last video you watched was my springs unboxing. And the reason why you haven't seen the springs install, and this is a different video right now, is because I have a confession to make. I've kind of got new coilovers, and I didn't film me installing them, and I didn't film me even going and getting them. I kind of suck. But that's somewhat kind of a good thing, because now I can explain it in a different video and show you what I have, but at the same time, I wish I would have shown you guys me going and getting them and the process I went through going to get them. But here's the thing, I got a really good deal on them. So, you might be asking yourself, why would you get new coilovers? What's the point? Why'd you do it? Well, here's the thing, I got my wheels on my car, I got everything installed that you're gonna see or that you already have seen. I'm not 100% sure when this video is gonna come in, but I got everything done and I got all the everything on the car. Well, when I got there, I realized that my coilovers that I had wouldn't go low enough. My biggest problem was the fact that if I wanted to go any lower, I'd have to lower my spring rates, which would completely defeat the purpose of me buying Swift Springs. So basically what I did was I posted my coilovers for sale, the ones I had, that wouldn't go low enough. So I posted those for sale, and I sold my coilovers in no more than 48 hours. I posted them, I talked to the guy, and the next, and then within two days he came and met me, and I got 400 bucks for them. Yeah, $400. What? So here's the craziest part of it all. I not only got $400 for these coilovers that I didn't know the brand of them or anything, but then I went and got BC coilovers that were only 45 minutes away and I got them for $750. What? Think about that. $750 for BC coilovers and I just sold my coilovers for $400? So what, um, I spent $350 really for new coilovers? That's a freaking good deal. Well, I look at it as 350 bucks, but I mean, I spent 750, but I made money on my old coolers. My other ones I bought for 300 bucks and I sold them for 400 after running them for two years. That's awesome. That's just awesome. I also even switched out my springs again. I kept my Swift springs and I switched them out again after I did my spring video that you haven't even seen yet. This is the thing, you haven't even seen my spring video yet. And yet, I had already put them on these coilovers, taken them off the coilovers, and then put them back on new coilovers. So here's the main problem with the coilovers I had. Not only were, did they not go low enough that I wanted, but they also, their spring rates, when I raised the spring rates all the way up, it would make the car almost look like it was at stock height. Well, that pretty much defeats the purpose of me being a, uh, stance boy I essentially went and got these BC's and I put them on there and like I said I've already got the tires and everything on my new wheels that you guys have just seen rebuilt and I put them on the car and so then I found out my tire sizes wasn't the same it wasn't right I got two small tires in the rear and I got two small tires in the front I had a crazy stretch in the rear which I'll show you a picture whenever we get to that point. So I went to a bigger size of tire in the rear, which was a 235 now instead of the 225 I was doing. And it turned out looking so good. I adjusted my coilovers, I had full adjustment. I still can go a little lower on these coilovers, which is exactly what I needed. I needed coilovers where I could adjust them as much as I wanted, and I didn't have to worry about whether I could go lower, whether I could go higher, whether my spring rates would be right, because everything is right now. A lot of stuff has happened to my car. My car's on new coilovers. My car's on these new springs you haven't seen yet. My car is already lowered to where it needs to go, and I already have it daily drivable. I know. But here's the thing. 
you guys have a lot of videos coming up and I'm gonna explain a lot of stuff that I've already done and I'm still not done I've got to rebuild my front wheels and then that's a whole new animal of what we're doing there and I don't know I there's a lot more videos to come I've got a lot more ideas and I've got stuff coming with the Miata but I just felt like I needed it to explain when you see the spring video it's gonna switch of different coilovers which will be it won't make a whole lot of sense but it's because I went and I filmed the whole spring video and then I, for I forgot to explain how to change out your front coilover springs. So that is why it's going to change in the video and I figured you needed to know now, hey, it's going to all of a sudden go from these pinkish reddish coilovers to some BC coilovers. <laughs> but other than that, it's going to be I hopefully a good video. I don't know, it's one of my older-ish videos. Also, I'm filming on a new camera with a new mic. And hopefully you guys can see a major difference with that because, I don't know, it, I think the quality is really good on this camera. It's a lot steadier with this camera and the sound should be much, much better. So basically, I'm not going to show you how my car sits right now. That would be defeating the purpose of my videos that's coming up. But I will give you just a quick sneak peek. And of course, if you're following me on my Instagram, you're already going to see it because I can't help but post. But here you go. So that's all you get. <laughs> But I will make a full video on it. I'm also going to do try, kind of do a review on how the BCs feel, which I will do that after I do the spring video. And I will say this, that they are way better than what I had. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Just quick little update for you guys and a little bit of a story time about how my coilovers that I had sucked and now I have pretty good coilovers. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And peace out.